hey you guys welcome to my channel if you're new subscribe y'all like my hair it's giving like this they call this cinnamon wine but i don't know what this giving it's giving me life though period so <laughs> if y'all hear anything um that is gonna be like my heating system going in and out so um as y'all seen by the title what this story is already gonna be about and i'm gonna just hop right into it um this story took place in chicago um if y'all don't know that's where i'm from and i want to say i was about like hmm, i want to say i was about close to 20 so yeah um <laughs> this story is crazy so one day I was walking down the street. I was on 79th and Shane, um, walking towards South Shore Drive. Now, if you're from Chicago and you're from over east, then you know, okay? But if you're not, it's cool. Just follow along. So I was walking, and it was this dude standing at the bus stop on 79th and Coles. And I'm like, okay. Now, I noticed him, but I didn't really pay him no attention. And, um... I just, like, walked past, and he stopped me. He was like, hey, you cute, you know, what's up? And I'm like, hey. Now, back then, I was very, like, shyer and quieter. Like, I hadn't developed, like, my bluntness now. Like, now it's like, what's up? You feel me? But back then, it was like, oh, hey. <laughs> so... He stopped me, he was talking to me, and I'm like, this, like, I didn't notice him at first, and then when he stopped me, that's when I noticed, like, damn, this my, man, who I couldn't even get it out. This man was so fine. <sighs> he was so fine. Like, he was, I'm gonna just describe him. He was light-skinned, a heck of tattoos, and, you know, back then, that was kind of like, the thing that's yeah, all about the chocolate brothers i see y'all <laughs> but um he was light-skinned tatty and he was the first dude i ever seen with a little like tattoo right there so i was like mm, okay so he talked to me he was like i just got out of jail now that should have been red flag duh but i was like okay you know bad boy type just how i like them you know i like them thugs period <laughs> but he was just like you know i just got out of jail and then he had told me he was like about 27 i'm like okay this this grown man said it's here so we was talking and normally i don't give out my number but he was just too fine not to get a number so th this the only problem though he was shorter than me now, I'm 5'4 right now. Back then, I don't know how tall I was. But, he was short. And I'm like, this is my first time dealing with a shorter dude. So, that's how you just know, like, I don't know. He had to been just too damn fine because I couldn't pass him up. So, I gave him my number and I proceeded to go about my business. Then, I get like maybe like a call or text i forget like a couple of hours later saying like oh yeah you should come over blase blase so the next day i i had nothing to do and i think it was maybe during the summertime so i was like mm, let me go see what he, what he uh I, and i don't normally do that either i don't normally just go over people's houses but i was like he fine <laughs> He fine. Like, at this point, he was the finest man I think I ever encountered at that time. So, I'm like, mm, I'm going to go over his house, see what's up, see what's going on. So, <laughs> went to his house. Um, I, I stayed in the hood, but, hmm, he, hmm. <laughs> now, I don't pass judgment, but he, he stayed in the hood, hood like, I don't know if they get any more hood because where I stayed was pretty bad. But he was like, I don't know, his crib was just all hood. And I was like, well, 
At least they got a couch in this bitch so I could see it. So we was chilling. Now, when I got to his house, I noticed it was other people over there. So it was me, him, and another girl and another guy. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, he get to telling people like, yeah, that's my girl. That's woo woo woo. And now you know, I'm like, <laughs> you geeking me up, back. Like you know, what I'm saying like, just and then back then I was timid too a little bit. So I'm just over here like cut it you know cut it out so he starts to you know tell everybody you know i'm his girl and we get to chopping it up and it was cool the first day they was cool the people he had no biggie so the, i only kicked it with him for like maybe not that long either like maybe three hours at the most and then i went about my business because it was summertime so i was I was out. <laughs> I was going places. I was hanging out, moving. So the next day came and he asked me to come over again. Now, the first day, I was like, I really enjoyed like his little company or whatever. But, you know, I was just like, this man fine. Let me go over there again and see what's up. Now, when I went over there, this is what I wasn't expecting. I went over there and now it's me him and the girl from the first day so i'm over here looking like okay maybe this is sister or like a family member or like some shit like that so we kicking it now the first day he was very affectionate towards me like he was hugging me holding my hand um you know just affectionate and he the second day he was that was him like that's how he is I'm not an affectionate person, okay? So, when, especially not to, like, somebody new. Like, I got to work my way up. So, he was very affectionate, and it was just like, okay, that's different. But, um, second day, he was like that, too, while the girl was there. Now, I, I mean, I didn't think nothing of it until this was the story get interesting. She pulled me to the bathroom to talk to me. Now, I was very leery about her pulling me to the bathroom to talk to me because I'm like, I don't really know her and I don't know what type of time she on. So I think I had like some mace or something with me because I just, I don't trust shit. So I was just like, if this girl tried me in this bathroom, we, you know, I didn't know what she was on. So she talks to me and she starts crying. Like, when I say crying, boo-hoo crying. And I'm confused. I'm like, what's wrong? And then she gets to telling me, like, yeah, that's my boyfriend. And I don't know why he does this to me. And, like, he be having different girls that he mess with. And I'm just so tired of this. And I'm like, hold on. Run that by me again? The that's your boyfriend? The hold on. <laughs> Stop. That's your boyfriend? Um, he was really fine and not coming at her, you know. I think all women are beautiful in their own way, but she she was one of them women that didn't take care of herself. So it's like she just she <sighs> I don't know what y'all get the y'all get the picture. So, I was like, what? That's your boyfriend? And then she's like, yes. And, you know, he does this. And he just got out of jail. And I do everything for him. I'm like, oh, yeah. It's time for me you to go. Like, it's time for me to get up out of here. So, I'm listening to her vent. And I had apologized because I'm like, I felt bad. Because I'm like, I didn't know this was your boyfriend. Like, why you ain't say nothing? This man is over here, like, hugging me and trying to kiss all up on me and all this extra stuff. And this is your dude? Like, nah. Mm -mm. So, when we got at the bathroom, I was very, like, he could tell the vibe was different now. Like, my vibe towards him was very different. So, I just remember, like, you know, he, he was still trying to play that, like, affectionate role. And, like... Now, they're, I, this is me, and they're hugging me. Now, it's getting awkward now, because now I want to go. So, now I'm getting hugged and shit on, and I'm like, 
what the fuck is going on here and they're talking about oh you so soft and you you like a teddy bear and i'm like okay teddy bear like yeah like yeah you gonna be our teddy bear and i'm like I gotta get the fuck up out of here. I gotta go. I gotta go. So I'm trying to, because I wasn't so blunt back then, I'm trying to ease my way out of the scene. And I think I said some shit like, I need to go to the store or something. She decides to be like, I'm gonna go with you. I'm like, damn. <laughs> All right, whatever. You know, so we go to the store or whatever. This girl... Y'all, she was talking to me, and she was like, yeah, you know, I do for him, so I'm going to do for you. You, like, going to be our girlfriend. Like, anything you need, I got you. You need whatever, and I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, I, um, that's cool and all. That's sweet. Yeah, thank you. We get in the store. You know, I'm, I'm trying to, this, I'm trying to plan to escape. <laughs> We get in the store. She's telling everybody like, hey, y'all, y'all see her? That's my girlfriend. Ain't she fine as hell? And then the nigga's like, yeah, she bad as hell. She bad, yeah. And I'm just like, dumb as hell. Like, cause I'm just, I'm just shocked. So I'm like, hmm, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm trying to fucking get out this damn situation. And then, after we got out the store, I kid you not, I ran to the bus stop. Like, I was like, I gotta go. Like, I'm sorry, I gotta go. I got other stuff to do. And she's like, oh, damn, okay. Well, I understand. I tell y'all, I went home. The next day came. They were calling me and texting me to come back over. I'm not coming over there. Like, the fuck is... No, I'm not coming over there. Like, they was like, she would text me like, you need any? Like, I'm not your girlfriend. Like, no, I'm good. I kid you not. I never went back over there. I blocked the number. I stopped talking to them because I don't, uh-uh. <laughs> mm -mm. I do not share no man with no woman. Is you dumb? And then if I was like a woman, I'm not sharing my woman with another nigga. Or I'm not sharing. Period. And y'all not sharing me. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, that was that was a wrap. You know, but it was, you know, they tried me. But I got up out of there. So, yeah, that's how, <laughs> that's how I almost got into, I don't know what you call it. Like, is it a poly... I think a polyamorous or something. Look it up. Don't clock me on it. Look it up. Relationship. But, yeah, that's my story, y'all. And, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I got a lot of stories. So, if you like this story, like it, comment, share, comment. Let me know what you think. Hit me up on social media. <laughs> and, yeah, that's, that's what happened. So, yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video. Go subscribe, turn the notifications on. And yeah, thank you for watching. And I love you guys. Bye.